loyalty to a sweet, sweet mama salute. Now we all put come together as well. For tomorrow, now we go make salute. Yes, family, I want to welcome back to yet another very important segment when it comes through the Talking Point platform. My name is Mohamed Kagbo, and today is the 4th of December 2021. Uh, like I promised you the last time, say we get an, we'll get an exclusive interview with one big Alejo from the APC. This is a well-known household name in the country, somebody with a vine even for being the chairman and the leader of the All People's Congress. Um, I know they waste time much here. Will they come quickly and can introduce you? Uh, one moment. When I know go no side, when I get the opportunity for send a text there and know much about waiting in a store here. Talking point platform for news every day. Now we call this alone for education, if you entertain, maybe political affairs, Chinti PTV. We put in up Tanga one. Yes, so family, low ocean, we 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 guess quickly. Uh, honorable Anami Colson Turena, also name, but I think it will much more better for let. Uh, this gentleman tell me who are now honorable person to it. Well, me na honorable ambassador, Reverend Almami Colson Ture, the aspirant for the chairman and leader of the APC party, and of course, the, the, the formal assistant national publicity secretary for the APC party, and also a former member of parliament will serve. And in various committees, them and also chair various committees, them like the trade and information in trade and also information committee in a parliament. And also, I've been privileged to for for do so many work within the community and be part of the process. So, for me, I'm not going to say much, but as we go, we're going to know me. And for some of our way frequent switch the APC activities. When I will not say Honorable Almami calls it today, it's an household name within the country. So now we just move from that point, say, and then as we go, we will not know me better. All right, thank you very much. So we go straight to the point. Um, we want to keep this interview very short uh, because uh, we told me the time we put, we might be able to come up with due to technical problem. Then no more sense for us. Now we see, like, People like to say charity begins at home. And um, whatever we run as a picking at home, it gets effect now the outside world. Now, when it comes to a political party, if you see a party there in conflict, in disarray, then uh, with a prayer, probably if they're able to unite themselves, how much more than we try to unite the country as a whole. We get so much um, uh, different uh, segments then. So, what are the reasons? What are the problem where uh, we experience or we in so much um, conflict within the APC? Well, let, let just make it very simple. We are there at the present moment we are in. Everything about the party now, now the court system, now in the in charge. So now, now for say the party executive, where the time did not expire a long time ago, and but the, the, there is no vacuum in leadership. Then get for the day until they hand over to a new executive who will continue with the work of the party. Looking at the present situation at the party, we to make we day in this area now because in presently within a court and we did try for handle the situation the day. Even though some people then will say yes, the court actions are bad. And the people that we take them, they not do well for the party. But I will tell you, say this is democracy, and these are some of the DNAs and uh, some of the things same in democracy where we all get for land. Because now we don't see a new constitution, don't arch, don't come into into view within the party. And for now, presently, we know say it don't almost be matured now, or if not, it don't matured. Which means that it's a new constitution, it's a new dawn, it's a new day in the APC party, even though things are going to continue. 
But now there are so many things that don't happen within the party looking at the constitution itself. And that con in constitution, they got for lay a foundation. We got for tell the party, we got for make the party in the future for be a very strong and democratic party. So for me, the court case system, not so anything will worrisome. Now in process is the way we, where we go through. We presently we get for just make sure say we do what we supposed for do, provide what we supposed for provide for the court, and also make sure say yes now we come back into normalcy because at this present time for some of us we are worried because 2022 within few months from now we will begin prepare for the council election and preparing for the council election means say, we get for fill over 400 and something councillors them now this whole country. And if you not get an executive presently, we don't prepare, we don't plan, we don't strategically, don't put everything together. It will be a very big problem for the party. And in 2023, it's at our door, presently coming very close. And in particular in opposition presently, we get for prepare very, very well for what we get to serve together. So the court actions them is not something new, it's going on, but I tell you, say, we almost, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We are almost coming to the end of it. We are in most of the cases there now. We they almost the water down. So for now, I'm not gonna to say too much confusion then at the party, but we they are the, 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 the court system. Now in all the party now, now get for tell you when we go convention, what will they do next until we get the final rulings. Then we know say yes, this is what the party is doing. But looking at the party administration, I will tell you, say the in, the the executive voting now. We just continue, I would say, acting executive voting now where they act in the place of a uh, way the time they expired. I would tell you, say, for now, then they do their own best. But I think, say, if we get to a very new, it will get a new executive coming in, credibility, trust, and respect will be within the system. And people then will look up to leadership them where they know, say, yes, now they self -self elect them because this is now the time of his election, not selection. So we are getting to a point where in we are going back to the grassroots. We are in we go elect we, we, we executive them people that will not say a reflective of us the APC will put them in power. So when the people and they come in power, what do you they expect? You they find out say so people and will begin trust the leadership of the party, and this is the juncture we are now presently. All right, thank you very much. Now, as we understand, you they as power for be the chairman and leader of uh, the APC. But you see yourself as a leader of this party in some somewhere in the future? Let us say, for instance, not in the future, in the present, like, because now, mm -hmm. uh, I was one of the 28 people that were being wrong the last time for being the flag bearer of the party. But I was not lucky. Somebody else gets the, the, the flagship. And we all support them in go. But presently, with the final say, the, the both the rock now presently, the white paper there, is very close, the opposition party, they use whatever they can, whatever they have presently, in neither for put me down and in order for them to forget the second time. And we as an opposition party, we get for prepare ourselves. Looking at the present situation, me go tell you, say, me not the right person at this present time for lead the party because one thing, and tell you, say, you get somebody who get vast experience as compared to the formal chairman they were done day and with the president chairman. I will tell you, say, any way you look in party leadership, I get so many experiences where they get where are they bring come into the party leadership where most of them not been get even with the present day. The, the most of the people that will run now, now say the one for be chairman. I will tell you, say, me now one of the only one among them all will not serve now the national executive. Me now the only one among most of them will not serve as member of parliament. Me now the only one among them all where, for instance, will not get the experience for serve me in a country at different level. So now that make I tell you, say, presently, APC Day at a crossroad, which means that. APC need forget a very strong blue blood APCM. Somebody will not come out from another party because as you see plenty of people they try to run. Say they want for be chairman. Most of them they're too young within the party, not so by age, but in terms of the membership. Some of them just come in by job where they just give them. Where they not get the experience and not ever serve in the party, 
and even at constituency level, they're not served at no executive position. They they're not even going to parliament. Then you have for can run a very serious party, very big, the largest party in this country. I will tell you, say me get all the qualification. I get everything that it takes. I get the skill. I get the education, and I get the commitment. And also, I will tell you, say I get what it takes for change this party, for make them a modern party. We will be ready for a continue for win 2022 and also 2023. All right, thank you very much. As you talk as to 2022, Hello. 2023, now that next question. Do you see yes, you sir. see you see the APC for winning 2023 election at all? I, I will tell you so do you win easily. Because one thing way I tell you a credibility within the party, we the try we the try for get a candidate to clean. A candidate will not involve in any of the charge system where then they try to live, where then they take against some of the aspirants now presently. We they try to find a very clean candidate, which means that APC, when you look, even whatever way you look at the last 2020, the last election where we go, who we win? We know, but because of peace sake, we say let sleeping dogs lie. And we get the population presently. I will tell you, said when you look at the trend within Freetown, McKinney, Bo, Kalau, in that they say in Kenema, in Kono, we are saying that the trend setters are within this country. APC with all the pull them, then they lead. So because of that one day, that they tell you, say we get what it takes. And looking at the present situation within the country, people are so disgruntled. The economy is so bad. Just like waiting they happen, this interview for don't happen since twelve o'clock. But because my phone not been charged, we not get light for the past one day, in two days, and my phones they all been day off. The, the, the least, well, we would just get light about three hours ago. I been get for plugging all my phones them for that able day na the year for for that talk to the world presently. So now that make a tell you, I say APC get what it takes. We get candidates them. We get credible candidates them. We get so many people there when they clean where we no need for worry about them involvement in anything where they will make way APC win. Let me just tell you this, all waiting people in the talk, APC is a traditional party. In APC SLPP within this country, not like religion. Wherein I will tell you, say, even today, the Senna calls in, I will tell you, say, about 40 to 50% of the country don't almost don't come within me side. Anybody within the APC where the party don't vet, they say na in na the person. So your goodness, that person they in entering in almost all the power with the sitting president. And during the campaign, I will tell you, say this is going to uh, there will be no one off. We they beat them hands on, hands on <laughs> within the beginning. And we they tell you, say that just one time with the one with the win. I not care whatever things they put in place or whatever strategy they are trying to put in place. But I will tell you, say now, Sierra Leone. Then one f a, a new, then one change, and I will tell you, say APC now mostly we we the run, we to make with the we with the with the run for not only for APC but for save this country from Musa with so presently for now we take us to a better place. Honourable, I jump jump in quickly as a political party. Yes. We think they, enough for just day for wait for win election before they do something. As a political party, yes, what have you guys done for yeah. people? Um, na, I mean, national wise or maybe um, a local area. Una, I mean, what are the contribution over since I don't they in opposition for three plus years? What have you been doing for Sierra Leoneans in general? Well, let me let me just tell you one thing. One thing is we as opposition, we get members of parliament, then within a parliament presently, where they go through so many things, um, and then they make sure say yes, they represent the party well, not only the party, but the country as a whole. And because of that one day, you find out say so many things say where they be one for pass, where they not where they be one for pass. We parliamentarians say, even though then they under so many stress. Almost about nine of them, then we just remove them unconstitutionally or replace them. They're not to use the, the former process. A, a majority party will get the majority, then use strategies in order for make them a minority party in parliament. But me, they tell you, say, the APC, even when we the opposition, we are still in contact with our people. We meet with them. We talk with them. We strategize with them. Our party is a grassroots party. We cannot do without our people. And when a political party is in opposition, the only way we can survive, you have to listen to your people. It's when you are in power, 
then the people listening to you. But now, because we are in, in opposition, the power belongs to the people. So we have to listen to the people and we have to listen to them keenly. All right, okay. Let me just quickly touch on the economy because we know that um, when you talk about good governance, you talk about government. Um, you talk about the economy. Uh, yeah. One thing we a lot of people have done the ask now, but the states, the current state of affairs. As a political party, as somebody who is vying for being uh, the chairman leader of the party, what is your take when it comes to the current um, economic situation in the country? You say and say it better off five years back or it was now. What is your general take? Let me just tell you one thing. Government exists for only one reason, for raise the standard of living of its people. If the people then they perish and they suffer, they're not able to afford their daily bread. Just a simple daily food, then, 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 then that's the one cause a day. It's a struggle. When in they're supposed to forget about a, a three cause a meal a day, but they can even the one is a very hard one they get for struggle, very hard for letting get them. And I will tell you, say, so looking at it with basic food, like for instance, rice, rice the sky records from the time we saw will left them to presently in, in don't go up to even up to about four to five hundred in, 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 in thousand within this country. And the thermal left I mean they within them one hundred and something to two hundred. But now we are talking about five hundred. And they looking they look at the even the transportation, people moving from one place to another, then the waiting them in the waiting in the pain now is a lot more. So when you look at the old situation, the old thing where you they assess I mean they say yesterday better pass today. And what does it mean? It means that during the days of the APC, we get investors and the flow within the country. We get people and they come in for invest within the country. You see infrastructural development going on in various parts of the country. You see even the healthcare system, the function, even though we face Ebo in Ebola, we get through Ebola very easily in such a way that we try to manage them and we take ownership of Ebola. We are able to defeat it, e Ebola out of Sierra Leone. This is a government at that time will be very responsible. Whatever they say, they look at the people, they care about the people, and whatever things they do, now for the good of the people. So because of that reason, you find out saying now, even on uh, employment, the youths and the cry and on, on employment like within the country, you, you people in the Commonwealth University with degrees and qualification, they cannot work. They cannot take care of their family. Then you go back again, look at the women them. You go now with market system there. You find out say because job not the, the most of we women then are here, so now then they into petty trading. And you find out say most of them they grumble the way you meet them, then they tell you say then they do all day, then they sell. Look at the dollar. The dollar is moving so fast in such a way that you cannot even you, know, you don't know exactly what is going on. Even though there is a, a, in the COVID-19 going on presently, we understand, but that's what government is. You take the responsibility. Whatever you yes, face yes. during your term, you get for face them directly. Yes, sir. Yes, and I want to do me a favor. Uh, yeah, please check I mean, the you, uh, I mean, Somebody, they say, uh, we can't hear your voice, but we can see you uh, in a very dark place. Uh, Check the mic. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to move uh, out of this place. I mean, they try for use the weather out, we've been in clear, and they almost, okay. in, in, no, let me just say, six, say and they go to we seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, you're talking okay. about uh, the economy. Um, probably the government will act, act you say, the reason why right. investors are closed off, like we say, investors are closed in my own time. Now, because of the COVID, and the COVID and the Ebola are not the same. The COVID is global, whereas the, um, the Ebola are now just concentrated in the Mano River Union. Uh, so, what you will talk about if government gets a genuine scheme, why the country the Tanga? When you talk about inflation, you talk about no jobs, you talk about uh, investors and they fly, of course, restrictions. What are your take? Yeah, let me just um, uh, move to somewhere where uh, we saw we get we get light clear. But as I go, I go to talk. But let me just say this: when you look at presently, it's not even the investors who are living who. Yeah, Famula, I think we get small technical issues. 
uh, with uh, honorable in, inside until I know the salon network uh, can fluctuate. We get for be a small, it will generate quickly. It will generate quickly. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the problem. <laughs> I hope soon I'll go show understanding to this. Or maybe we will just um, okay. Try to send for another link for January. Formula on our wait, please, on our patience. Uh, honorable, I think the internet from the side don't get an issue. So one get some few minutes, let's see. Um, let me send for a fresh link. Yeah, family. Now, now we uh, find something for entertainment. Now we find one small music. While it's not a wait for, for honorable. I look for one nice music. I look for one nice solo uh, music. Okay, let's take this one by Vida. Vida. The green leaf. Go be bad, some tell me go be good. Yes, so remember where they may say, Ten go past you, Ten go past you. And then me say, You know, and better thing for do. Remember how they mean they call you, call you. All kind of name, they mean call you, call you. Make you right, then go wrong you. How you know they, then go turn you. Remember how they mean call you, call you. All kind of name, they mean call you, call you. Make you right, then go wrong you. How you know they, then go turn you. yeah, so Fambul, um, Lord, we are shining again, honorable, honorable, don't come back. Uh, yeah. Yes, don't sorry, come back. The, the, the light song go off, everything this way. <laughs> now in yeah, darkness, but they use church lights yeah, now. People understand. people understand. Okay, a lot yeah. of tech ones before they come up from George Orwell. It's pathetic that uh, this government for almost four years going, they are still in campaign mode. Nothing tangible yes. to point. Uh, uh, just policy on paper, sad for Sierra Leone. All right, yeah. um, 
Now we take one, the probably the last question for today because we know the internet are moving. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, uh, we know the EU be doing follow up findings where they accuse four institutions uh, based on uh, the perceptions of the Australian Union. One, neck. Say, so a lot of people are not trust, then get smart, then they, they not get trust in them. The police, salon people they say not get trust in the police. Uh, the PPRC, the Political Party Registration Commission, also majority of salon people they say not get any the judiciary. These are four key institutions. They are very vital when it comes to good governance. Now, as a party or as an uh, aspirant for a very powerful party like this, what are your take? Because we see that the government's own side, they even bash out, they even blast in you say they are professional. Uh, the data and uh, not just uh, true, there's something we uh, not just make any sense to them. Now, what's in your opinion? One, as a part, I'm not saying I'm gonna put a statement where uh, we bring a program on here on that. We want to say, yes, what's in, um, uh, what is in the EU say not to new thing, that's something we just um, not just they say the obvious, and uh, so you as uh, somebody who they vying for be the chairman and leader of the APC. And given this worrisome uh, follow up finding, what are your take when it comes to this new findings? Well, looking at the present situation within the country, you, you look, you call this four main institution. And when APC been, been in power, we look at the three arms of government and try for strengthening it, it's strengthening them very heavily in such a way that we we'll make sure, say yes, even though we'll not do, we'll not get too much, but we try for improve the parliament and give them plenty of things. Um, and we're going to the executive, take like the ACC and so many areas, we try for give them in, in, in power same way and we use another for prosecute and also again you look at the police and i remember when i was in parliament uh, the police was at one time i think at a, a very low as seven in, in, in thousand police that was about 600 policemen to one is it was a 600 Sierra Leonean to one policeman and when you look at all this situation look at neck you don't see what's in the apple now within government now even the civil service the civil service and the civil servants they all don't become politicians they are not civil servants again they don't serve the interests of the nation they serve the interests of their own party or their, their own party where they get interest in so because of that they the final say the police the the the, 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 the judicial and also the parliament itself, everybody deserve their own master, not the people. They need to work again for the interests of the people. And as I run for become the chairman of the APC party, hopefully again the leader of the party in the near future, and when God puts everything together, because leadership you come up from, from God. And he tell you, say, we the APC, what do we care about now for our fault? Let we raise the standard of living of the people, them make sure say human rights and we, with the rights of the people, them we respect them. And also, not only you, you talk about some of these institutions, them they're not well in, in strengthened. You the final say some of them then go then appoint them at them position then they because of the political affi affiliation and then they expect them for deliver. And because of that reason, then I make you final say when the SLPP come, what did they do? Then try for make sure say then fire most people them within the civil service where they know where they think say may they serve their interest now they look at uh, uh, um, the, the 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 auditor general the way they just fire presently you they see what it happened during the the, the election at Kono, you see what it happened there even the most recent one you the final say you the, in a Kabbalah, you they see what it happened and you can't the human rights issues them you we all know about what happened at Tumbo, what happened at Makeni, what happened at Lushai, and in so many other places. Them all of these things are going out of hands. Some of us you think say something that we are not prepared for coming into governance. They may always be the fed for win. And when they don't candy, they are not prepared for rule. So and see alone and the country as a whole, this is not the place where somebody can, they can train. Now a place where you learn is supposed for the one. And you for no way to do just like the leadership where they run for the party. And at the tell you say most of them are not prepared. And you just like what you talk from the day where from the day where they come in a campaign mood then they even up to this point in a campaign mood then they and look at what happened even yesterday or today when they take the, the, the leader for the women's leader in our state house, they make a very big show on them. 
you this is a public this is na state house na public place na government place you get your party office go do party things in day they get other executives they will get for camp so then they use every minute every second for campaign and then then they use up the power the all the the opposition for let them not campaign but then they then they then the wrong thing and they do at the end of the day yes I think, um, are you saying the president not get rights for invite anybody with anybody in a state house? He get right for invite everybody in a state house, but this we're well, waiting to tell you we know waiting a political organogram and waiting at the thing. This is not just an auxiliary wing within the SLPP. The women's then where the young generation they serve them, then they use the opportunity make a big show out of them. Then when the other auxiliary wings then do them. Take it to your party office. Wait where you go to a national convention and go. You welcome everybody in, and then you go along and do a, a government business. You need to politicize the process because every minute they want to use politics in order for use the platform, they bully people it in order for them to get away. But me, they tell you, say now like, one thing where I tell you where people don't ever know. We get so many people that were responsible for their leader then are within in Sierra Leone. One, yes, the people and they vote for you. That's not true. When they vote for you, you, if you win, you go win. But also, again, if the civil service, the civil servants are not so working at the interest of the people, they can move the vote in a different way where in people don't go suffer. And then there's a third factor where always are the talk say the third factor is the international community where also they play a role. We know what in and play the role with them play for Mother Bio, Bio during the term where they win. We know that role they waiting and play. So because of some of the reason in the day, you get for look at uh, as a leader of a, a, a opposition party, you get for look at all these factors, how then they play towards your elections. Because you know, say each one of the factors and the instructions in the get for responsible, get for make a get for a responsible, either you win or you lose, then get for play a big factor in that process. So looking at this present uh, situation presently. As the chairman and leader of the APC party, I will tell you, say, at the hits the ground running. And one thing I want to tell people them, this is a voluntary job. It's not a job I'm going to take where they get for pay me for. Now, volunteer the volunteer. Let people know this. Let them know that. And because I get the, 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 the credentials, the education, the skills, the experience, political experience, and also know what in now, now, now APC politics, now I make a devout for them. Because most of the one they were still run presently, now somebody they push them on a run. Una run, una run, but most of them they are not APCs. They are not blue-blooded APCs. They don't know what it takes for be the chairman of the APC party. Usually the chairman, usually the chairman can be the chairman and leader. Where they take you for be the flag bearer of the party. Which uh, what thing that mean? Most people don't know say the flag bearer gets that free run. When they don't appoint you, say you're not flag bearer, then good wishes then they come from every side for LP campaign. But when you become chairman of the APC, you have to go out, put on a sleeve, put on short pants, and start running to the four corners of this country and the four corners of the world in order to raise funds. We are looking at a party. 2022 is a major one way for show sure we say yes, we are already prepared for governance. The council election, we get for raise a lot of money. Looking at also the 2023 presidential election, due the chairman presently, you get for build a very new organization, a new constitution. So many things and then they like word we been there, we not been done at the constitution. It's now part of the system. And me also don't know, I tell you say now. Me start the world system within my constituency when I come as honorable. Nobody not be ever get them, and not been ever exist. So I know what it take for build a world committee, world executive within the party them where we go, we, we go win. And I know what it take for one election at constituency level, and I know what it take for one election at a national level. But most of these guys never get this experience, and then they'll say they want to be leaders of the party. And I go tell you, say, if education is expensive, try ignorance. Then you will see the pay. All right. Thank you very much. So, Fambulen, now so we go tap the program here uh, because we don't want to um, again let that issue happen. Uh, we don't waste a lot of time. So, honorable, we will thank you. Plenty, yes. Plenty, 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 thank you. We tell you plenty, plenty, thank you. And uh, yeah. we will hope to see you back again at Talking Point Platform. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, but. Can I say one thing to yes, the people okay. that we didn't get your land? 
I'm sorry for the, the delay and everything. And I hope, say, as, as time they go on, when I go know me, some of you know me. When I know me, 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 me Facebook page, when I know everything about me. But I will tell you, I say the next time again, I will make sure, say, I find every means for us to start on time and make sure, say, yes, the internet is all day together. Peace be unto you. May God bless you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you for hosting me. Yeah. And uh, on next week, Fambule will also get Honorable Jazz, uh, where they represent uh, MP in my constituency 028 Nakono. We go there with feedback next week, Saturday. Since I will come talk about the state of the economy and it's a getting message from here all as a union. All right.